What's going on guys? I'm Darren the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion, fragrance, primarily fragrance on this channel. So if you're into looking good and smelling great, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. So that way when I upload new content, you'll get notified. All right guys, I got it for you today. This is one of those comprehensive lists that I like to do for you guys. Only five fragrances you may need for the rest of your life, right? But what I decided to do is do that with a twist this time. And I'm gonna give you one fragrance from each price point. All right, so we're gonna be looking at the, I won't say zero, we can say $1 to $50 price point. We're gonna look at from $51 to the $100 price point. Then I think we're gonna do from $100 to $200, then from $201 to $400, and then $400 plus. So I'm gonna give you guys a fragrance, one fragrance from each of those price points that if you're a guy that's looking for maybe one or two fragrances, I highly recommend one of these fragrances contingent upon which price point you're looking for. Now I'm doing this because there's a lot of people that look at fragrance different and the value of fragrance as it pertains to how much they want to or would like to spend on a fragrance. And I know that I have people that fall into all the different categories. We have the guys that don't mind spending and you know, wouldn't mind spending 400 plus dollars on a fragrance. Those people do exist. And then we do have those people that uh, don't think that it's a good financial decision to spend over 50 bucks on a fragrance. I have respect for everybody's mentality as a and their approach to uh, spending money smelling good. So I wanted to make sure that I have something for everybody. So if you want to see what's on the list and you see what fragrances I chose for each price point, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Yeah. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump right into this video. Before I actually give the fragrances, I do want to say this as well so you understand my thought process when doing this. The primary thing that I want to ensure with each of these selections is that the fragrance offer versatility. All right, so although, of course, I love amber fragrances, in my opinion, I know people say you wear what you want when you want, but in my opinion, I wear a lot of heavy amber fragrances more in fall and winter. So to me, that wouldn't offer as much versatility when you look at spring, summertime. So the fragrances that I want to talk about uh, in each price point are going to be fragrances that are extremely versatile. You guys know how I like to talk about this. We're talking about any season, any reason, any occasion. Never a wrong time to wear any of the fragrances that I want to talk about. So that's the primary thing that I took into consideration. All right, so you may, might, may not necessarily be my ultimate favorite fragrances in my uh, collection, but these are great for versatile fragrances in each price point um, that I'm going to talk about. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first fragrance that I would choose from that $1 to $50 uh, category is a fragrance I've talked about a lot on the channel, and it's this one from Burberry, Burberry Touch. Burberry Touch, this is violet leaf, nutmeg, musk, pepper, and tonka bean. This is a spicy uh, green kind of powdery fragrance that I am telling you just works. You talk about a versatile fragrance. This is probably my second, maybe third bottle of this stuff. It's already half gone. And that's saying something because I have a lot of fragrances, but I wear it so often. Versatility is key when you're talking about having one fragrance. Like I said, you can wear this from anywhere from casually, I like to wear it to the barbershop, on up honestly to wearing a suit and tie, and this fragrance is going to work in any scenario. It smells phenomenal, and I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but Burberry, generally speaking, does some really, really solid fragrances for what you're going to pay for those fragrances. So it checks all the boxes. One of my favorite fragrances when you start talking about under 50 bucks and you can find it pretty much anywhere discounters are sold for under 50 bucks. Guys, I'm telling you, if you want one fragrance under 50 bucks, add Burberry Touch to your collection. 
All right, so for our next price point of $50 to $100, again, I've already told you guys versatility is key here. Mass appeal is key with these fragrance choices as well. And I chose this one from the brand of Prada, Prada Lunarosa Carbon. This is lavender, pepper, and broxen, and patchouli are some of the main notes. Now, this fragrance, of course, got a lot of a attention, a lot of acclaim when it first entered the market because it smelled a lot like Dior Sauvage, all right? Now, there is a difference here because this fragrance does feature that note of lavender. And from the first time I talked about this fragrance, I mentioned the fact that lavender was a game changer in this fragrance, comparatively speaking to Dior Sauvage, because it gave it that really nice, gentlemanly quality and kind of took a little bit of the quote unquote shower gel uh, edge off of the Dior Survive scent profile. Again, checks all the boxes here is mass appealing. You can wear this dress down, you can dress it up, you can wear it to a business meeting, you can wear it out to dinner, you can wear it to the office. This thing gets the job done. And so if you're looking for one that is extremely versatile between that $51 to $100 price point, look no further. And Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. All right, guys. So next, we wanted to go to the one hundred to two hundred dollar price range. All right. So I felt like this fragrance, just like the previous fragrances that I mentioned, covers the gamut. And this one is from the brand of Mansara. This is Cedrat Boise Intense. Cedrat Boise Intense. This is lemon, black currant, leather, oak moss. All right, so this is a fragrance that's gonna that a lot of people compare to Aventus as well. Uh, okay, the original said Drop Boise. This is the intense, but they smell very similar. This is just kind of amped up. But I've always said this is a lot different from Aventus if you smell these side by side. Yeah, it has a fresh kind of citrusy opening. It kind of has a smokiness to it, but it's being done and accomplished in a different way. This is about leather and oak moss and citruses, where Creed Aventus is more about the smoky birch wood. Um, in that fragrance. So a lot different when you really look at them side by side, but just like Aventus, I would say this is a great option when you talk about versatility. This can do it all. So if you're looking for one fragrance between 100 to 200 bucks that covers it all, every season, every reason, every occasion, so Drop Boise Intense or the original so Drop Boise is going to be a fragrance that will deliver. Looking at the 200 to 201 to 400 dollar price, up to 400, 399, I guess you would say, um, price point. I think this fragrance epitomizes everything I'm talking about the most on this entire list. Being quite honest with you, this fragrance actually changes, and it almost like it changes with the season. Each season you wear this fragrance, you have to experience it. You get something different. And it seems like what you would need for that season is amplified during that season. It's crazy. But the fragrance I'm talking about is from the brand of Jerjoff. This is 40 Knots. 40 Knots. This is ambergris, coffee, cedarwood, cloves, amber. And like I said, each season you get that. When it's springtime out there, you get, there's a very green undertone that this fragrance is amplified seemingly in the, um, the springtime. In the summertime, you get that, that sea salty, ambergris aquatic thing that the fragrance offers. And then in the fall and winter, you get the warmer notes, the ambers, the cloves, the nice cedar uh, wood in here. All those notes are amplified in the fall and winter. I mean, this thing changes on your skin. This is an experience, guys. A lot of people talk highly about this fragrance because they rightfully should. You talk about a fragrance that is great for any occasion and any season, this epitomizes everything I'm talking about today. So check this one out from the run of Jerry Job. This is 40 nights. And last but not least in that $400 plus price point, I went on ahead and shot for the stars on this one. <laughs> this one is from the brand of Boulder City Victorious. This is Valiant. Valiant. This is Mandarin Orange, Petit Grain, Neroli, Orange Blossom, Tonka Bean, Vanilla, Sandalwood. This You just gotta smell it. You just gotta smell it. Don't wanna sound like a broken record here, but it checks all the boxes. You can wear this spring, summer, fall, winter, work, church, school, out on a date, to a business meeting. Gonna get the job done. 
And it, it sincerely, guys, it smells heavenly. My goodness, man. Just get a sample of it. It's super expensive, but get a sample. But for you balls out there that want something over 400 bucks that is going to get the job done, you want one fragrance, get this. From Boulder City Victorious, this is value. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. As I gave you a fragrance from each price point, and that could be the only fragrance that you need in your collection. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Love to look good. And of course, I love to smell fantastic. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.